Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing well. I am back today with a very exciting and very unexpected video. Very unexpected. This is by far the most spontaneous thing we've ever done. And it's something that we've actually contemplated for a very long time. Almost too long, but maybe that's the reason why it's so spontaneous right now. It is Sunday, it is Sunday 12th of November, and we are about to head out, go shopping for a very, very exciting surprise. I literally don't even know how to like talk about it in this video. We are getting our first puppy together. <laughs> Oh, long story cut short, basically, we've been wanting a golden doodle for a very long time. And we've just been like kicking it down the road a little bit more and more, wondering if it's the right time, kind of what plans we want to do, where we want to be and everything. And yesterday and the day before we had Courtney and Jacob down and they stayed with us for a couple of days. And we were really thinking about it just before they came, weren't we? And then when they came, obviously like, Courtney is the most impulsive person in the entire world and she is a master persuader as well and she obviously was like a dog with a bone, pardon the pun, and started to look for golden doodles <laughs> in the local area or even not even the local area, she was looking in bloody Wales, wasn't she? And we happened to find a litter that was literally 20 minutes down the road, which is crazy. We just spontaneously went and looked and we found honestly just the cutest little boy exactly what we want um we want a golden doodle i personally really would much rather have like a poodle crossbreed I've, I've had cockapoo my nan has a cockapoo that i got with her it's just better for my lungs and stuff and also like no multi hair or whatever and he is the most special little boy he's gonna be xl as well which is i'm a big girl i need a big dog right he is absolutely gorgeous i cannot wait to show you him we went and saw him yesterday we put a deposit down for him and we're gonna go and pick him up today which is just so random but since I literally first laid eyes on him. I can't stop thinking about him. So spontaneous, but... You haven't said his name. I'm not gonna say his name until I introduce him. Something that is honestly just crazy to us, and we had a little moment we realized it last night, is Aaron and I always see the numbers 11, like 11, 11 all the time. Like it's the number that we are drawn to. We always go and pick it and everything. And yesterday, we didn't even realise it was the 11th of November, which is 11-11. And that's when we like picked him. And we that was not intentional, as I said, this is the most impulsive thing ever. Um, I don't know, I just, that makes it feel so much more like it's right, don't you think? Mm. Like it's really... Time will tell. I don't know, it, <laughs> it, it probably sounds a bit cheesy because 11-11 means so much to us, but it's just crazy that we didn't even realise that we went and saw him and picked him on 11 11 so today's the 12th we're gonna go and get him um we're just gonna head down into town get some get a few bits for him we need to head to pets at home get him a bed and just all the essentials that a puppy needs really so yeah just had a big fat list i'm gonna go and pick some bits from it but i'll obviously take you along with me and show you what we find we are just in tk maxx this looks so cozy and we thought it would remind him of his mum. His mum's a golden retriever. We've got a dog bed. I'll do like a proper haul when I get back. Just got home from getting our initial first bit. So much kitchen roll because something tells me we're going to need an awful lot of that with a puppy. Couldn't help ourselves, but we're decorating our Christmas tree next weekend. So, And then I got some floor cleaner, pet friendly floor cleaner and disinfectant. Just some wipes. Some baby wipes, some shampoo, just some mini sacks to put any dirty, what are these called, pet pads in them. A couple of bowls. These are just little ones. I think we're going to get a raised bowl surface when he's a little bit bigger. Some poo bags. And then this is the bed that we went for. We also got this fluffy little rug blanket thing to go inside. And then this is his toy basket so far. This was Aaron's pick. This was my pick, Gingerbread Man. Just a little few bits. And then I've also ordered him one of those heartbeat sheep things just to keep him company at night. But we're gonna go and get him now. Then we're gonna pop to Pets at Home and we're gonna get his little crate um, and just a couple of other bits that we will need. But yeah, that's pretty much 
everything just to get going. It looks very minimal right now, but I'm absolutely obsessed with this. It's so, so cute. I gotta be quick because we need to head into Pets at Home just to grab a couple of bits before heading home because the book was on. Whoa. Um, but this is Spadley. He's eight weeks old, just, and he is a golden doodle. But he's gonna be a big boy. His paws. Like, his paws are pretty large. <laughs> he's quite the chunk. Let's go get you a bed of some description. Pets at home trip, number one, done. Collar and a lead. So cute. Brush, because he's going to stink. And then, because he's going to be a big dog, we thought we'd get a big crate, because I feel like he's going to grow quite quick, and I want him to have space. Smash it, mate. <laughs> Welcome home, kitty. What have we got in here then, Spudley? Hmm? We got some food. Is this mummy's blanket? Is this mummy's blanket? Come on then. Come on then. Oh, guys. Oh, my goodness. Is that mummy's blanket? Is it time? <laughs> Oh, babe. Been back five minutes, not even. Football's on. Oh, God. You're a good boy. No longer known as Turquoise Boy. Oh wow. Should we show everyone your new collar? Hmm? Oh okay. Wow spots. Do you love it? Do you love it so much? Oh hmm. so it's a little bit later now. Aaron's just lost a bet. Not a bet. A Rock, paper, scissors, and he needs to go and get the crate out of the car. Where's your water? <laughs> Wait, they gave, they gave us this dog train, I swear. <laughs>
it's almost 10 p.m. and we're currently trying to just absolutely knacker him out. We're trying to play with toys, but it turns out all he really likes is hands and feet and hair. Loves Aaron's Apple Watch. Go do some steps for me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you see, these are the kind of things that I'm going to have to be bad cop about, to be honest. Tap. Thank you. Tap. Yeah. You Thanking go. you. <laughs> so well he did oh Dad, it's playtime, mate. Just got my Amazon delivery through the door. I ordered this literally the day that I found out we were gonna be bringing little spiders home. I've seen this before and I really, really had to grab it. So it's called a little buddy. It's a heartbeat sheet, basically. It has a little pulse in it that um, kind of mirrors the sound or feeling of a heartbeat. And a lot of people get them for their puppies to like help with separation anxiety and stuff when they, sleep at night obviously because they go from literally being in a litter and being around their mum to then sleeping in a bed on their own even though last night was so good and he only literally cried for a little bit when we first went to bed and then was literally quiet all night i feel like this will just make me and him feel so much better about leaving him in his bed on his own at night especially in these early days when you're still a little baby I have just been cleaning, so please excuse the state of me. My toolbox is in Aaron's car, and Aaron is currently somewhere north of London at work, so I need to try and open this. I actually have stains on my jumper. I'm out here looking like a real mother, you know, that's been up all night with their baby, and I've had a full eight hours sleep, and I literally look 
pretty haggard. Ha. Huh. Right, spiders, we need um we need batteries. Hear that? Put it on. Heartbeat. What do you think of that? Oh, do you like it? He's like, what? Oh. Yeah, straight in the mouth. <laughs> Here's that. Here's that. I am looking absolutely bedraggled to say the least. I feel like I'm just owning the new mum look. That's basically what I am at this point. We are on well, our second full day of having him here. Um, but technically day three of having little spuds. He has just been on a bit of a rampage. Honestly, he is an absolute dream. I'm looking in the viewfinder to see what kind of mischief he's up to. My eyes have genuinely not left him for a second. Spudley, come here. We're getting very clever now. We were learning some tricks yesterday. And by tricks, I mean sit. I feel like he's learning his name a little bit more now. He keeps coming back whenever we call him um, and he's just so much more comfortable with the environment like he is running around here he knows where things is like he even was a bit skeptical about going around the other side of the sofa when he first came um, but now he's like running up and down the hall up to Aaron who's in the office and then cutting back and everything. Bedtimes have also been pretty good I mean the squealing when he goes to bed actually breaks my heart. Last night I may or may not have cried myself to sleep, but I guess that's part of the process. Like I know it's gonna make him a better dog and he's gonna be way more disciplined and sleep so much better and be way less problematic. We just power through this like initial part. It's going well, he literally only cried for like 10 minutes. I've been, you would have seen from yesterday morning, I've been putting on a puppy sleeping playlist through our Apple HomePod, which is a speaker, um, which is in the living room where he's sleeping in his crate at night. And I've been playing that genuinely all night long. So about eight, nine hours of this playlist. And it has settled him so much that he'll cry for like the first 10 minutes and then he'll be like so chilled and then he'll go to sleep. Um, but yeah, last night actually just broke my heart. As soon as my alarm went off this morning at half six, I was straight in here, cuddling him and we're getting him into a really good routine. So like eating at the same time every day, eating at the same time, like in the morning and the evenings. Um, and yeah, just trying to get him into a good rhythm while he's young. Bedtimes are the only things that I'm kind of struggling with a little bit. I feel like already, I'm not sure, me and Aaron were just saying this, I feel like he's grown already. I feel like you've got a little bit bigger. It's only been two days. I've got him booked in for his second jabs and then once the jabs are done, I feel so much more comfortable because I'll be able to teach him how to walk and we'll be able to go out on little family walks and everything, which I can't wait. At the moment, I feel pretty tied to being here, which is absolutely fine. Like again, I'm fortunate enough to work from home, work on my own hours and stuff, um, but yeah. It'll be nice to be able to bring him out and about with us for sure. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Oh, this was our first, I'd say, 48 hours with a puppy. And honestly, he's been an absolute dream. And I'm just so excited to have him in my videos and have him in my everyday life. And more importantly, to have a little prep buddy. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, meeting our little Spudley. Um, but yeah, I'm sure you'll see him in the next videos very, very soon. If you have a lovely rest of your week and if you enjoy the video, please leave a like down below. And if you're not subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe to see more of little Spudden. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon.